Jerry, natural melatonin and anthocyanins in tart cherries help to maintain healthy joint function, speed relief from muscle fatigue post-exercise, supports a healthy cardiovascular system, help maintains healthy normal sleep cycle, supports a healthy immune system, and it gives tart cherries their vibrant red color. Hmm. Tart cherries. Maybe we might need to talk about that. I'm going to sample a little bit of this. See you at the show. started we must get hydrated so now um family i got to be honest with y'all i'm gonna have to start drinking some water as soon as i get up so i'm getting up around 3 30 sometime at three so i'm about to drink me a little water before then i didn't do it today because i wanted to holler at y'all about that but because water helps me wake up just a little bit better and with me being dry trying to wake up it's not working so i'm gonna have to drink a little sip of water not even just i'm gonna have to sip me up Drink me a bottle of water, even though I don't like this bottle of water, because the other bottles that I um, that I that I review are a lot better than this one. But that's the one that's in the house. Mm. And it's a little bit better than top. Come on, drink some water with me, family. All right, Mr. Hasbury, I'm trying to make some arrangements, brother. Oxygen on the second second round of water for the 32 ounces. We will be having a review about this soon. What we're gonna be talking about on the show today, we'll be talking about the tart cherry. So for the last maybe week and a half, we have been focusing on some of the health benefits, but now I'm reviewing some some health issues, some health issues and things that we can do for our health that don't cost us an arm and a leg. You know what I'm saying? Um, some uh, some substantial thing. I mean, some some substantial moves we can make without costing us everything, right? I just got off of the uh, five day fast yesterday. And I am feeling, feeling good. I'm going to start another one soon. So those that want to know and want to do it with me, we're going to 
we going to be accountable to each other with the fast. So, here's another thing of water. Come on, y'all. Hydrate. Mmm. Get some more of that green juice. Alright. So now we have our 32 ounces. We get right into our toast. Alright fam, as y'all see, I got my clear glass so that we could look at something. Of course y'all know we got the ginseng here. I could put the top on this one and I'm going to do that. But, I got the ginseng here just in case, just in case ugh, I need to be pulled back from the netherworld because this is from my experimental SCOBY, the SCOBY I made. And she wasn't looking that good this morning. That's why she ain't here. You know, and I will not, I will not bring, bring somebody on my show that is not prepared. Her hair was not looking right. So I looked at it. I said, uh, I'm going to let you sit. And, you know, I'm work with you a little bit while longer. Because she wasn't looking as good as she was last week. So. We're going to make the toast, but, but, it's this bottle, it's this bottle, if y'all have to call emergency services, all right, and then also, you know, type in, get the ginseng, get the ginseng hotel, if y'all see me, you know what I'm saying, all right, let's see, the first, the first test that we always used, right, when we was out, when we is out living in the real world. Of course, it's the eyes. Okay. Okay. Y'all see? Use your eyes. Hmm. We're going to see. Then the nose. Still smell the honey. Don't smell no no tea. Just a little bit of honey. So we call on the ancestors by whatever name we choose. I mean we call on the creator by whatever name we choose, call that creator. We call that great power to bless us, to guide us, to strengthen us, to protect us in all of our ways. We ask that creator to move through our life and to uh to bless others in our lives. So we toast up and we say our shade. From there, we move to our ancestors, right? Personal ancestors. We call on those ancestors to guide and protect us. We call on our mothers and fathers. We call on our grandmothers and our grandfathers. We call on our great-grandmothers and great-grandfathers. All of the shoulders upon which we stand, we ask them, we ask them to, 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 to guide us, to lift us up, um, to put their arms around us, to walk with us in rough places and make the path smooth for us, right? To, to shine a wisdom on us for each step that we walk. We call on these ancestors. We remember these ancestors. We uplift these ancestors and we say, Ashe, now it's time when you start seeing yours. Cause I'm going to say mine, Miles Brown, Lizanne, Robert the Texas, Alan Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walter, Christopher Fallon Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis. Oh man, Aunt Avira, Aunt Gina, Jermon Jones, John Flar, No More X. To Pat Ma Ra, Elder Hairston, 
Elder Donaldson, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Montague Pittman L. Mama Malika. Ah, just thinking about them, family. Just thinking about them. It's good to reminisce. Right? We call on those personal ancestors. We say our shame. From there, we move to this present moment, and we are in need of the day of purpose, family. All right. We're about to get it today. We're about to get it today. Today, we're going to talk about. Oh, Tart Cherry. Yeah, today we're talking about tart cherry, all right? So we toast and we say ashe. From there, we move on to the future. We toast to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. So we toast them and we say ashe. From there, last but not least, last but not least, I toast you. I toast the struggles that you are going through. I toast your victories. Um, I toast your insights, um, I toast, uh, your growth, um, and with that, we say, Ashe, 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 peace, power, and 100 years. If I'm gonna go out, I'm going out with the blue glass in my hand. Hell with that. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not ready for the public. Mm-mm. Facebook, I got a treat for you. <clears throat> Y'all know Brother High Tim has been screaming about these parasites, right? So on Facebook, I mean on YouTube, I've been making this drink. I'm going to make it right here for y'all right now. So I got this stuff that I call that Ambrosia Vinegar, right? This is this is the final stage of that ambrosia. It goes to vinegar. Very similar to ACV. For those that don't know what ACV is, that's that apple cider vinegar. Different taste, same effect. All right. Final stage. Very strong. But it has a different taste from apple cider vinegar. Still vinegar though. I don't want nobody asking me for something and then talking to me about tastes like vinegar. Yeah, I told you it's vinegar. It's that ambrosia vinegar. So now we got our own vinegar family. I'm not fucking around. I keep telling y'all. Y'all think, I mean, people be thinking I be playing, man. I'm not playing. We got our own vinegar. Know how to produce the whole from, from the beginning to the end, right? This is the final stage of that ambrosia if you know how to do it. Even if you don't know how to do it. All right. So the base of it is that ambrosia vinegar. Then we're going to have some turmeric. For those that's been following the show, you know what turmeric does. You know what it does. For the for helping cleaning you out, we're gonna call this the detox, right? We got a little bit of cinnamon, we got some cayenne. All 
All right. I'll take my last little bit of Death Eater. Now, Death Eater, of course, is good for the liver. And when we're trying to detox or get rid of parasites or anything like that, it's always good to include the liver. Then we're going to have that coconut oil. Y'all know I love that coconut oil, right? Love that coconut oil, right? That's something we can get directly from the continent. Something that we can participate in the production of and the distribution of, right? Coconut oil, antibacterial, antimicrobial, as well as it lubricates your system. Oh my God. All right, so we got that. Did I put the cinnamon in there? We got the death eater. We got everything. Now, world famous lemon. If I had some um, lemon lime and ginger or that Justice League, I would use that. Just a little bit of that. So, because what I'm working on right now, I'm trying to come up with a formula that I could get out using that vinegar ambrosia as, uh, as the base for a detox. I'm seeing a lot of people ask, I think a lot of people been asking me about a detox. Do I got something that help them detox? And I want to be able to answer people, yes, I got something for a detox. So now you mix that up. Now I'm not writing down those ingredients, because that's just a start, but look something like that and I bet y'all thought I was going to drink that <laughs> okay. I'm just fucking with y'all I just got off a pass. I told you I ain't fucking around. Woo! Alright. So, that's a special treat for uh, the Facebook fans. I'm about to go off and talk with my people on YouTube. So, Facebook, you have a great morning. Shocky, you still ain't got back at me, homie. Alright. Peace out, fam. Oh, I see you, Mr. Kwame. How you doing this morning, sir? There's three people on the line. So, shouts out to Ms. Sheila. Shouts out to Brother um, Kwame. Shouts out to Brother Shaka. But I don't know who the third person is. So, whoever you are, thank you for tuning in. And thank all those that will be watching later. I'm out. Peace, Facebook. All right, YouTube. I had to... I had to pull that batch out. Cause I looked at it and I was looking at it. It didn't it didn't it tasted alright, but it didn't look a hundred percent right. So I just poured that shit out because I got my kids around here and my wife sneaking into my, my stash and shit. I you know what I'm saying? I you know what I'm saying? I'm like a mutant and shit, so I'm I can almost eat anything and shit and be alright. But I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't leave her here and my wife gonna be here all day and I know she be sneaking into my shit and drinking, you know, Ambrosia even when she ain't supposed to, right? You know, cause I'm coming back and Ambrosia missing and shit. I have to pour that out. Cause until I'm able to do a little bit more testing, I'm not going to leave that around. So I poured that batch out just to be on the safe side. Not that I'm saying anything wrong with it. I just want y'all to be clear. But I have to be safe, right? I have to be safe. So, um, I just saw I did the uh, de the detox drink. You know what I'm saying? The debugging drink, the parasite killer, however you want to look at it. All right. So now, one of the reasons I decided to do tart cherry, right, was first off I have oh, I had a bunch of red t tops left, right. Because a lot of some people, I had very few people that was requesting um, the beats. 
So um, the beat drink was just sitting around, right? It was good. Beats are surprisingly sweet and very good for you, right? But, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know because a lot of people just like, you. I beat, I don't eat beat. Yeah, you do. You know what I'm saying? You might be eating some beat right now and that cereal that you're eating because beet is a major uh, 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 sugar. It's something that they make a lot of this white sugar that we eat from, right? Somebody just keep texting me. I'm sorry, y'all. I hope it ain't messing up the video. But um, I know black folks like red Kool-Aid, you know, and I keep saying that, right? You know, a lot of us grew up on that red Kool-Aid, y'all. Come on now. Especially in my age bracket. Come on now. You know, get those big those big bags of sugar. Got your little Kool-Aid pack. Or even when they had it in the little cans. We love that red Kool-Aid, right? So, five promising health benefits of tart cherry. This is from Livestrong.com by Michelle Tercotti. Overview, tart cherries are loaded with important help. Oh, hold on. Right there, don't you? Tart cherries are loaded with important nutrients, but you have to eat an entire bag of them to obtain all of the benefits you can get by sipping the juice. Now, let me let me be clear about this, right? Um, fruit does have sugar in it, but it's called fructose. Um, fructose is real good for you, right? Um, but what makes it better than sugar is the fact that you have to eat the fruit to get it. Why? Because the fruit provides the fiber and other nutrients but besides just the fructose. So it's the, it's the actual fruit and the fiber that makes the, sh the fructose good for you. So uh, um, one of the things we got to watch out for is when, when they try to get us with this just the juice shit, right? Just the juice just puts 100% fructose, which is basically a sugar, into our body which can cause some problems without the fiber because the fiber makes uh, kind of balances out the the whole piece okay all right so i just wanted i just want to share that but sidebar from mr brother hot tim the fruit also contains many antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents and its juice aids in cancer prevention and heart health and as an anti-inflammatory which can help alleviate a variety of ailments like asthma symptoms and pain in short tart cherry juice offers protection against a host of conditions for adding tart cherry juice to your diet however be aware that one eight ounce serving of tart cherry juice contains 140 calories and 25 grams of sugar these excess calories over time may cause weight gain, which comes with its own set of health problems. If you don't cut back on calories elsewhere in your diet, so we're gonna talk about this whole this whole calorie thing um, eventually. I'm still working on trying to figure it out, but we're gonna talk about it and I'm gonna give you the information that I have and that I've been working on and thinking about as far as this whole calorie piece, right? You know, because I'm not really, I've never really been concerned about calories. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all might be concerned about it, so we're going to look into it. And then anybody that has any information about calories that you want to share, you know, feel free to send it to me or post it down below as well as, you know, um, I also post on my blog. And I'm, 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 not, I'm not ashamed to ask some of y'all to write for my blog, right? So, um, yeah, good information. Tart cherries contain important phytonutrients called antho, anthocyanins. Tart cherries, like rare fruit and vegetables, are rich in anthocyanins, a class of antioxidant phytochemical, a disease-fighting disease agent found in plant foods. Other fruits and vegetables in this class include raspberries, strawberries, beets, 
told you. Cranberries, apples, red onions, kidney beans, and red beans. All these all these ones have what they have in common is that red pigment. Alright? Phytochemicals give brightly colored fruits and vegetables their colorful hues. Anthocyanins in particular encourage health circulation. Healthy circulation ensure proper nerve function and offer cancer fighting properties. Consumption of chart cherry juice provides older adults greater protection against the development of heart disease, cancer, and age related to related cognitive, cognitive decline. According to a research study published in 2009 by the Journal of Nutrition in the study, tart cherry juice decreases oxidative stress in healthy older men and women. Research Tina, um, we will skip the names. The researchers um, investigated whether the consumption of foods and anthocyanins is associated with improved health, in particular the consumption of tart cherry juice. High in anthocyanins improves the ability of older adults to resist ox oxidative damage. Ah, you know that's damage from those um, like free radicals from that uh, from that oxygen running, running around in you. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You gotta control that oxygen. You know, you gotta control it. At least the stress that's caused by it. Oxidative damage may lead to an increased rate of death and disease in elderly in response to infections and disease such as atherosclerosis, cancer, diabetes, and Alzheimer's disease. The role of anthocyanin pigment as medical agent has been well accepted dogma in folk medicine throughout the world, and in fact, these pigments are linked to an amazingly broad-based range of health benefits, says Mary Ann Lilla in an article titled Anthocyanin. And human health and in vitro invested investigative approach published in 2004 issue of the journal of biomedical we don't need all that um all right let's get to the benefits all right i must have skipped one i want to get to the benefits come on now because y'all are in y'all mouth okay Number one, tart cherry provides extra cancer protection. Benefit two, quercetin and tart cherry juice help fight heart disease. All right, so let's talk about this quercetin. Tart cherry juice contains one of the most powerful antioxidants that exists, quercetin. Among other functions, quercetin prevents oxidative damage caused by free radicals from damaging low density lipoprotein or LDL or bad cholesterol what they call bad cholesterol according to a study published in um, European Review for Medical and Pharma, Pharma, Pharmacological Science in 2013 when LDL cholesterol is oxidized it is more likely to adhere to artery walls forming plaque which contributes to heart attack and stroke numerous studies cite the effectiveness of quercetin to, in reducing blood pressure, but also call for much more research on core relation between consumption of the flavonoid and such health benefits. All right, so they still call for more, but um, quercetin and tart um, tart cherry juice helps fight heart disease. It helps. It can help in fighting heart disease. They find correlation, right? Not necessarily proof. Tart cherry juice protects against muscle damage. Um, that was number four. No, that's number three. Number four, tart cherry juice aids in sports recovery. Tart cherry juice is a safe way to treat insomnia. Now, let's look at this one. I don't suffer from that, but some of y'all do, so let's look at this one. Drink a glass of tart cherry juice in the morning and the evening may be a better and safe way to treat insomnia as nearly 90 minutes of sleep to your night. According to researchers at Louisiana State University, tart cherries are a natural source of melatonin, a hormone that helps regulate the sleep-wake cycle, says Frank L. Greenway, MD, director of the outpatient research clinic at the LSU Pennington Biomedical Research Center. And Jack Loso, uh, we ain't going to skip all of 
School of Nutrition, Food Science, and University Agriculture Center in their study. Tart cherry juice increases sleep time in older adults with insomnia. Presented at Experimental Biology 2014. All right, how much to consume for this benefit? Eight fluent ounces twice daily. All right. Five, five, ben, five health benefits with tart cherry juice. It provides extra cancer protection. Quercetin in tart cherry juice helps fight heart disease. It protects against muscle damage for those that's working out and stuff like that. It helps you recover quickly. It aids in sports recovery. Arthritis sufferers may benefit from tart cherry juice. Um, Anti-inflammatory properties. This comes from LiveStrong.com. Alright, All right, so that's it, family. We just talking about the tart cherry because, uh, you know, I'm bringing out that flavor. Well, actually, the flavor's already out. It's going, going fast. I told you black folks like red Kool-Aid. I'm telling you, man. I mean, it's like, I mean, I, matter of fact, matter of fact, soon as I put the word out that I had the, the, the tart cherry, it was gone. It was like I yelled Kool-Aid and somebody just came busting through the wall. Hey, Kool-Aid. Y'all remember that? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm glad y'all enjoying the flavors. Um, I'm glad that y'all joined me for the toast. I'm going to finish this water. I'm going to clean up this stuff. I'm going to get my meal ready for tonight because I'm back on the intermittent fasting right now. I think tomorrow I might just... I might, I'm going to hang loose a little bit. I'm going to eat with my kids. I think we're going to have some pancakes or something in the morning. I don't know. Um, but, I, you know, I'll let y'all know. Ah. <coughs> have some of this ginseng with me, fam. All right, I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there. And for those that want more information about Jeremy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.